In this video, we are going to talk about the data types that are supported in Altrix. So as we know that Altrix is a self-service data analytics tool, it makes the process of ETL easier and it is a super tool that combines the functionalities that are required for the steps of data preparation, geospatial analysis and data science. Mainly to support all these functionalities, Altrix uh, uses these five data types. These are the five data types that are supported in Altrix, which are string data, numeric data, date and time data, boolean data, and spatial objects. Once the data is brought into Altrix, the Altrix data type is applied to the entire column and each value within that column. Altrix tends to use the best suitable data type for the data coming from the databases or the structured files such as Excel within the Altrix table. Now let us look at all of these data types in detail one by one. So first of all, we come to the string data type. String data represents only text. Even if the data is numeric or spaces or special characters, if a string consists of numbers, it is ideally advised uh, to first convert it to the numeric data type. Then you can just perform the calculations into it. The string data is the one that is kept as it is. It is further divided into these four categories that is string, v string, w string and v underscore string. String and w string are of fixed lengths and you have to set the predefined length of the string. So suppose you have set it to 100 characters, then every time it would take 100 characters. Um, the w string can hold more international characters. Now we have v string and v underscore w string. It stands for variable. The V here stands for variable. That means we cannot set any predefined length or we should not send any predefined length and it adjusts itself according to the length of the text of, of the value that it is going to hold. Next we have is the numeric data type. Numeric Altrix data types um, are the ones that contains only the numbers. It stores the numbers that could be represented by either a single digit or by multiple digits as well. We have different combinations in this like byte, integer, fixed decimal, float and double. Byte and integer are the whole numbers. Fixed decimal, float and double include a decimal number as well. Byte is a small number. Then we have integer which has more significant numbers. As you can see their range as well in the examples. Um, then we have fixed decimal which is used for currency and float and double. So this is fixed decimal which is used as a currency. That's a numeric value with a decimal. Next we have the float and double which are used for more precise numbers. Float and code are not good because it comes to comparison. They are never equal. Float is generally used to save the memory. Now the next data type we have is the date time data type. Uh, in Altrix the format of uh, date time and date and time combined together are fixed. So you will need to do some manipulation on your data if it is not in the format that you need as generalized by Altrix. Sometimes it is very difficult to work with date and time. Uh, there is a tool known as the date time macro that converts the date and time in human readable as well as Altrix readable format. So the format is as you can see for the date there is a 10 character string uh, employing four characters for year, two for month and two for date. This is the general format that is supported by Altrix. Then we have time which is again an eight character string, two characters for hour, two for minutes and two for seconds. And the examples have been shown on the right side of the screen. Next we have date and time combined which is a 19 character string employing four characters for the year, two for the month, two for the date and two each for the hours, minutes and seconds and an example has been shown on the right side. So these are the date and time data types that are supported in Altrix. Next we have is the boolean data type. So the boolean uh, basically represents a flag and it has only two possible values that is true and false. So true means non-zero or one and false means zero or basically any other digit that is not zero can be considered as true. Boolean is used to basically characterize the objects, categorize them into various categories or identify them whether the objects are a part of the particular category or not. For example, let's take a, uh, a student data set. So 
in the student data set we can check that if the student has passed the test or not so we can just create or the data can have a column as passed it could have values true false or yes no so true false in that case would be represented using the boolean data types next we have is the spatial objects spatial objects are used for mapping and are associated with maintaining the data records a point a line polyline or polygon all comes under spatial objects which can be used for mapping uh it is associated with a data record and they can be multiple spatial object fields in a table furthermore if you want to use any of the uh, data like which is which cannot be represented in the format of a text like uh, let's suppose an image or a video or uh, an audio file then we use the spatial objects again so what happens is when you just import the uh, table or any kind of an excel file then what happens is these spatial objects are automatically invoked actually there are two ways through which this altrex imports this data types like how it uses these data types so let us take a look at them as well data in altrex can be brought through these two fields or three through these two tools that is the auto field tool and the select tool now what is the difference between them auto field tool is used to select the data type automatically by altrex while the select tool helps the user to decide the data type so in case you are a user and you don't want an overhead of selecting the data type for altrex you can just go for the auto field tool so auto field tool is used to read through all of the records of an input and set the field type to the smallest possible size that is relative to the data contained in the column the tool correctly assigns a numeric field to a string data type where any record starts with 0 and not a number so in order to configure the tool uh, we can just go to the select string fields to auto change field type and select the fields to auto configure them we can use either individually or all the fields at once as well next we have is the select tool so the select tool is used to include exclude and reorder the columns of data that pass through your workflow excluding the columns that can limit the data passing through a workflow and improve performance we can also use the select tool to modify the type and size of the data rename a column or add a description to it now there are other tools that include the select tool functionality such r append fields tool find nearest tool join tool join multiple tool select in db tool and spatial match tool uh, we can use the table to modify the incoming data stream each row in the table represents a column in the data the field column in the table identifies the name of the column in the data and auto sizes to fit the column names without cutting off any text which is taken up to 40 characters so this is how the auto field tool and the select tool works in altrex now as we know that there are multiple tools in altrex and each of them have a specific functionality in case you are interested in learning more about these tools then what you can do is refer to the official altrex documentation now how to access it let me show you so in order to access it uh, first of all i have opened up google and all you need to do is google altrex help So once you uh, google it the first link that comes up is the home page instead of going to the home page you can select on this documentation link so what would happen is the whole altrex help documentation would be open in front of you now in case you want to learn about anything related to altrex you can refer to this documentation which is uh, very much precise and clean in case you want to learn about these tools specific tools then you can refer to this um menu over here where all the tools are present and they are configured or they are grouped together like all these tools that are present in the in out tab are together grouped in this in out the tools that are present in the preparation tab are all present over here you can click on any of these links and that a uh, link would be opened here you would find the way through which you can use the tools how to use it how is it looking and how you can configure it then uh you can also see some examples that what would happen when this tool is being used what kind of output you would be seeing so uh these are 
the documentation that would help you to learn about all the tools in Altrix, but the common ones that are used and the most important ones we would be covering in this course. So stay tuned for the next video. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching.